Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 32, and this is war number nine. Looks like we're going up against an alliance called Ramji Kisena. Is that correct? I don't know if I said that correctly, but that's who we're going up against, okay? So we're going to check out their defense. Uh, this is my proposed team to go in. These are the band champions, Ghost, Quake, and Human Torch. All right, but we're going to preview first. And let's see what we got here. I take path three in sections one and two. So I see that I have um, Hyperion. I don't like fighting Hyperion, but Nick Fury at least has... Yeah, he can take a couple of uh, his special threes, and he's not going to survive more than one if he survives that. Uh, and I don't need to use a invulnerability boost, so I'll probably fight him with Nick Fury. No one on this node. That's interesting. Usually I see it the reverse, where there's no one on that first node, and then there's someone on the second node. Then we've got Longshot. He can be annoying. Uh, basically you want to keep him to a special one or go in with an incinerate immune champ, uh, black widow clairvoyant can handle that fight pretty easily. So can Nick Fury, uh, warlock probably could as well, but I wouldn't, uh, fight him with warlock on that node. I would do uh, clairvoyant or Nick Fury. Then down here, we've got Penny Parker. I don't have anybody that's especially good against her, so I'll leave her alone. Nick Fury, same thing. Iron Man, Infinity War. Nope, I don't have anybody uh, to really target him. We've got our favorite Colossus here. That's Claire. And we have Annihilus, who I hate, but that'll also be Claire. Uh, we've got Venom. That will be Warlock if I need to fight him. All right, so the boss is Bishop. And I don't really have anybody that I feel confident in fighting Bishop with. Uh, that's why I can see why they banned uh, Ghost, because she would have been beautiful for that fight. Um, my Warlock... If I'm asked to, you know, help out, clean up, that sort of thing, I would take in Warlock. Uh, Claire, I don't know, maybe with her Hellfire uh, phase where she's incinerate immune, maybe. I don't know. She does energy attacks too, so. Yeah, Warlock would probably be the only one that I would feel comfortable fighting that bishop with. And let's see, we've got Nimrod over there. Claire could take that fight. Uh, we've got Sigil Witch up there. Nick Fury could probably take that fight. Doom, Warlock, or Nick Fury could probably do it. We've got uh, Weapon X. I do not like fight Weapon X, so I probably would not do that. Uh, we've got Terax over there. Claire could do it. But on that node, I really don't like that node. And we've got Spider-Ham up there. Uh, Nick Fury can do that fight. But if I had to choose, I would go up the left side instead. All right. So that's the team I'm going to go in with. And let's get on with the fighting. All right. We're back. And I'm going in with Nick Fury, Warlock, and Black Widow, Clairvoyant. All right, so again, I take path uh, three in sections one and two. And this first fight is going to be against Hyperion. Hyperion is very annoying to fight because sometimes he'll go very passive, refuse to throw his specials, and then just fire off a special three. I really, really dislike fighting Hyperion. Now, you can use, you know, power control champions against him, like Magic, like um, Vision. Um, Warlock can uh, also give you 
a uh, pretty decent time. But I like using Nick Fury because I don't have to worry about controlling his power. If I can get him to fire off his specials, great. If I don't, I don't care. Look at this. He's almost dead. All right. And he's like, okay, I'm not going to throw my special. All right. Cool. Um, I don't really care because first of all, it's not going to kill me. The first one is not going to kill me and I can take several of those. All right. But he's not going to survive that long. All right. So here we go. Now he's firing his specials. It's just the way Hyperion is sometimes. So that's why I like to use Nick Fury because, um, I have a little bit of that safety and I can fight more or less stress-free. All right, now we've got long shot. Long shot makes me nervous. I don't like dealing with his special two. I have gotten wrecked by his special two, even if it doesn't hit me. I do not like him, uh, but again, I'm going for the safety. Just in case something happens, just in case I'm trying to bait out the special one and he jumps on me, and gets to a special two. I have the life bottle decoy still there. So I have this um, margin of error. And look at that, I got hit by the special one. Okay, um, whatever. We're, we're not even close to dying. That's why I like Nick Fury. I can fight more or less stress-free. Okay, look at that. And we lost some health, so what? You know, we still have the life model decoy up and running. So, love my Nick Fury. When I was able to uh, awaken my six star, and I took him to rank three, I believe, before I awakened him. Oh my goodness, I was so happy. All right, <clears throat> went to bed, woke up, and this is what I found. Uh, middle, cleared. We've got uh, the uh, little mini boss there cleared and I get to fight Colossus. Same fight as all the other times. I've never lost to Colossus on this note as long as I had uh, Clairvoyant. I can't remember losing to him, period, but definitely with Clairvoyant, it is so difficult to lose uh, against him. Very, very difficult. Uh, on that node. She's just the perfect counter, in my opinion, uh, for a lot of people on this node, because chances are people are going to put uh, champions that get buffs, and she can nullify those buffs. So it's really, really easy to, to deal with this node. Now, if you don't have a nullifier, you can also use somebody that's just uh, bleed immune. That works out too. All right, and there we go. We pushed him to a special three, but I knew we were gonna be able to finish him off. You would think I would have learned my lesson from the last time, right? Fighting that Nimrod, pushing him to a special three, and I wasn't really able to finish him off. That's still salty, boy. But anyway, this is the fight that I was worried about the most. I hate fighting Annihilus. However, if I have a Mystic, especially Claire, she does very well. Look at that, boom, stripped that away from him. And now it's not a very difficult fight at all. I'm able to parry him and uh, we're, we're good. Just look at this. All right, he's got that again, but boom, stripped it away again. Very, very easy with Claire, but I was actually worried about that fight. All right, so that is the final fight uh, of the war for me. And we'll take a brief intermission and we'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back and we won this war. Love it when we win. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a... Blessed day.